Good afternoon. Well, first up to breaking news, the Australian economy has grown more than expected in the fourth quarter of last year, up half a percent, more than the 0.3 percent on the cards, also rising 2.2 percent year on year, and that's slightly ahead of the market expectations as well. The ASX 200 is now tracking about 1 percent lower at around noon, and it comes as we had negative leads from the get-go as U.S. stocks move back into red territory when the Federal Reserve made the emergency half a percent rate cut, taking the cash rate to 1 0.25%. And that was not expected by the market, which is why we saw their market fall, their stock market fall by about 3%. And now the US President Donald Trump is calling for rates to be cut again to make US exports cheaper. Back to our market, we followed global equities lower, but maintained some resilience, not falling as hard as some of our miners appear to be holding strong. And financials are lower, with ANZ down the most out of the big four banks, as they, along with CBA Westpac, and NAB all passed on the RBA's full quarter rate cut yesterday. However, in some good news for banks, CBA was upgraded by Bell Potter from a hold to a buy for a couple of reasons. One, its first half 20 results and outlook was stronger than expected. Two, legacy issues appear to be behind it. And Bell Potter also made mention of the fact that uh, COVID-19 is challenging for banks, including CBA, but but this bank is unquestionably strong with strong capital, which is why dividends should be maintained in the foreseeable future. Also factoring in the rate cut, net profit after tax estimates were lowered by 2%. And that's why CBA's price target was dropped to $88.80, which still implies investors could get a return of over 15%. So what does the rate cut now mean for economic growth? Well, the first quarter GDP is tipped to be lower amid coronavirus. And after that, later in the year, GDP is expected to uptrend as the RBA advised yesterday with spending, business and consumer confidence expected to pick up later in the year. Also helping the fact that the coronavirus virus outbreak should be contained by May, given the latest rise in recoveries. What else to watch today? Well, gold has seen its biggest rise in two days in eight years after the Federal Reserve cut interest rates yesterday to boost growth. And that's seen Saracen, uh, Northern Star, Regis Resources and Newcrest Mining seeing gains of between 9 to 5 percent. Cloud Business Next DC also shining about 4 percent higher after announcing a new contract. And they upgraded earnings to now be 320 to $340 million. And that's more then their prior FY forecast of between 280 to 300 million. Meantime, global bonds continue to attract funds, which is why government bonds here and the US, uh, their yields now reached historical fresh lows as investors seek out portfolio diversification to even out those market bumps and volatility. And the Australian dollar has pushed ahead to 65.53 US cents, particularly as the US dollar dropped uh, lower when traded sold down after the surprise rate cut yesterday in the U.S.